What up, y'all? Welcome back. I'll be your host, Frank will be, and we're watching Magic the Gathering on the internet. I think I like Eldest Reborn. I like Bituminous Blast. Ooh, what about Bituminous? Um, actually, Mr. Labor. How about a Bit Blast? You like Eldest Reborn over Bit Blast? You ever cascaded into, like, a legit monster, dude? Plus, the Eldest Reborn's a little bit worse because there's not as many, um... There's not, there's not as many, many Planeswalkers. There's, like, a very small number of... Bit blast into choops. We could live that dream. I'm taking bit blast, guys. I just want to be cascading. A sub is a sub is a sailor. You heathen? Super Fritz, are you at work right now? Oh my god, this is actually what I wanted. I wanted the Bloodbraid Elf because I just want to literally snap off the... Uh, the Cascade deck. Guys, should we call Super Fritz at work? Hello, Subway. This is Super Fritz. I think we're just taking Rakdos Signet here. I really like Angel of Despair, but there's no real way to... I mean, then we're just like... I want to take a shower. Mike is gone. Is this the reality in which we live for the rest of the night? Yeah, Mucho went to bed, unfortunately. It's 2 a.m. We've been closed since the stream start. Oh, dang it. I don't know how time works, Super Fritz. Sub is sub. <sighs> Time to take Simic Signet here. Actually, Beanstalk's probably pretty good, right? It fixes our mana. Or Smiting Helix, which is actually pretty sweet. I'm going to take Smiting Helix. We're going to take all the cards that are just like super value. And I bet Beanstalk or that Signet come back. I bet, it, I bet they don't, actually. I started playing during Gate Crash. I never know what's going on in cubes. I recognized the card and was like, take that one. That's actually pretty hilarious. But that's a solid strategy. You just take what you know, you know? Pilgrim's Eye. Artisan. I actually like this great Oak Guardian. That's a cool dude. Prison Realm is decent removal. And we're probably going to be a little bit white at least. Yeah, I do like Prison Realm, actually. Jungle Shrine. Oh, Boros Signet. Oh, Boros Signet seems great. It's either Shrine or Boros Signet. I think it's Boros Signet. I'm going to take Jungle Shrine. Three colors is too good to pass up, I think. Oh, let me just get a roll signal anyway, so. Yeah, definitely taking the fixing here. Icy Manipulator. Whew. That's got to be too good to pass, right? That's just... That's just real good. I mean, I would love to take a Rakdos Carnarium here, but I think Icy is just too good. Ice Manips. I'll consider it. A sub is a sub is a sailor. I think our deck looks sweet so far. It's a little bit all over the place, but that's fine. We're having a good time with it. 
You would take Rakdos Current Amber Icy Manipulator? Who hurt you? Into the Maw of Hell kills pretty much anything and gets rid of a land. Yeah, I'll take that. I do like a rugged highlands. Probably more than armadillo cloak. Maybe. Hmm. Edge of Autumn seems fine. Four drop Vraska is kind of meh. I don't think those cards are any good. I guess I'll take Edge. I like a Tusker. It's a late game threat. It's an early game fixing mana. It's basically the same as Bean. It's basically a, an old school Beanstalk Giant. Instead of uh, getting a big guy, you get a, an extra free card, basically. Well, Corpse Jack Menace is playable because I don't think we're going to be blue if we can avoid it. Oh, wow, that guy's fine. Golgari Signet's pretty good. Where my, where my list of worms at? Yeah, I think we're just taking Signet here. I think it's the strongest card in the pack. I mean, Sarah Angel's good, but I'm not really on double white territory. So we're basically Jun splashing white for Prison Realm and the second half of Smiting Helix. Hmm. Baleful Strix is super nice. So is Muldrifter. God, do I just take Jungle Hollow? Doesn't seem great. But I don't think I want another four drop. The sad thing is I like both of these guys. Skull Prophet's kind of meh. I mean, we have a lot of two drops that ramp already. And I'm not really... I, don't, I, I just... I don't like to gift it either, Born. Hmm. I'm actually just thinking it's Jungle Hollow. Right, Black Black on 2 is hard to hit, but... I'm just saying it's a better card than this, and I don't really care about this. I mean, I'd definitely rather take Entomber X Dark than Skull Prophet. I'm just taking Jungle Hollow. I think I just want the Fixing Lands. Oh, man. Psychic Symbiont. Oh, Demonic Tutor? Yeah, we'll just take Demonic Tutor. <laughs> Such a weird card to be in this cube. Abzan Charm seems good. Really like Murder of Crows. I like Gruel Turf. Gruel Turf probably lets us play 16 lands with 3 Signets. And if we can get one more of those, then it's like no question. Blight's good. Lux on Warhammer is pretty decent. Makes every one of our creatures into something beefy. I'm going to take the Warhammer. We do need some more creatures, but I believe in us.
Uh, Terminate's nice. Plated Crusher's great. Yeah, I think we want the Plated Crusher. We also have a good amount of removal. Smiting Helix, Bit Blast, Maw of Hell, Icy, and Prison Realm. Drake, like we've got a bunch of really good blue cards. I think the Wanderer is fine. I think it might be the best card in the pack, but that's not saying too much. Incremental Blight is great. I'll definitely take an Incremental Blight. This is a card I always regret having to pass or passing. Trigon Predator, we're not blue. Uh, probably just Nissa's Judgment, which I'm a fan of. I don't think it's Putrid Goblin or Swift Reckoning. We could be blue if we wanted to, I guess. You just take the blue cards, right? That's all it takes. This guy came back, and this guy came back? Alright, we'll take profit now. <laughs> there you go, you guys happy? This pack is great. Branch Walker, Beast Within, Skin Render. I like a Skin Render. Abzan Charm? Oh, man. This deck's looking banging. A little more white fixing would be nice, but... I'm probably going to take out Golgari Signet for the Skull Prophet, because they're basically the same card. Meh. Seems fine. Meh. Seems fine. Meh. Seems fine. All right, so we got another pack, and this is deck's looking pretty sweet so far. Cultivate's nice. <sighs> Tristani Summoner, also pretty decent. I like taking big creatures, apparently. I think in this deck, Cultivate's probably just better than Shittering Rats at Double Black. I think we're just taking Cultivate here. And if Tristani Summoner comes back, that would be pretty pretty great. Mm, I do like a Briarhorn, even though our 4-drop slot is getting pretty fat. Actually, Lightning Helix is pretty sweet. Summoner is make a 4-4, four, 3-3, four, 2-2, three, three, two, two, and a 1-1. One, one. And it's a 1-1. One, one. So you make a 2-2 two, two, Knight, a 3-3 three, three, Centaur, and a 4-4 four, four, Rhino. It's 5-5. Five, five. I mean, we have Lightning Helix and Smiting Helix. I actually think Helix is probably correct here. Kiora is great, but we're not really a Kiora deck, I don't think. We have 1, 2, 3, 3 creatures. That's not gonna cut it. Swift War Kite's decent. What does it? What does it bring back? A uh, Skull Prophet. That's it. I guess we have four creatures because of Lux Tusker. I mean, it's still a four four flyer, but I don't know. It doesn't that don't impress me much? Uh, 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 you gotta do the thing and then you fucking. 
Blaze Commando? Actually not terrible when we have Bituminous Blast into the Mall of Hell, uh, Smiting Helix, and Lightning Helix. You know what? I'm in. I'm in for a Blazing Commando. Scale Behemoth is my bay. That card is bonkers. And I really like just having the Hexproof guys at the top end. It's very, very good. Cone of Flame is also super strong. Having Incremental Blight and Cone of, Cone of Flame is pretty good. I'm going to take the Wanderer out for now. Take Nissa's Judgment out too. Um, I do like Talisman. I think Even Warrior is probably just better than Corpse Jack Menace here. We really have like nothing that puts counters on things. And Even Warrior has consistently been good, so... Any creature that died this turn you put in your great put in your hand. It's actually not terrible. Yeah, I can see Rampage for the sideboard. It seems fine. I mean, it's probably the best card in the pack. Boros Garrison is nice. That is great. We don't need any more playables. So I'm definitely taking a Boros Garrison there. And now we can play 16 lands, because we have three two-drops that actually give us mana, along with double Karoo. Tristani Summoner did come back. Now I need a cut. Incredible Light and Cone of Flame is pretty decent. When I got the mana to cast things, you get Jungle Shrine, Gruel Turf, Boris Garrison, Jungle Hollow, Rugged Highlands, two Signets, a Skull Prophet, a Cultivate, a Crosan Tusker. I don't think that's correct. I like having a Bronto Don. Song of Frailies is fine. What's our one cut? Gen Charm. Interesting. Palm Bright Wings. Interesting. Pyrokinesis. Interesting. I feel like it might be a 7 drop, but we also have like lots of ramp. I guess we can cut cut. Yeah, actually, I don't know how Corpse Jack snuck back in the deck. Also, Blitz Commander with Cone of Flame. That seems good. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see what we got here. I actually almost like I actually almost like Golgari Signet over over this guy because this guy produces black and green, and this guy you need black and green for. I think the Signet's just gonna be better to be honest with you. And I think nine creatures is fine. Like we have Tristani, we have. Lots of dudes. Our deck also has a ton of removal, so I'm not like super concerned with that. Sort by colors. Let's actually just do one of these jobbies. Yeah, this looks about like the hand I'm going to open with. Actually, that seems fine. I, I wouldn't complain about that, to be honest with you. Okay. Pop it. Bring it on over. Okay, green is for sure our most represented color. So we have one, two, three, four, eight green. I'll say okay for now. Red, that's not, we're not gonna include the signets, I guess, because they're just kind of break even on them. Uh, red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seems fine, we don't need a second red till Cone of Flame. We have two signets, it's basically eight. Black, we have two, three. Hmm. 
I'm going to cut a green out of black. So now I have four. White, we have one, two, three, four, five. For only five white cards. Cut one of these, add another black, I think. All right. So this is, it lands alone. We have four, five black sources, six black sources. Nope, five. Five black sources, one, two, three, four, five, six red sources. Uh, green we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And white we have one, two, three, four. Which I think is actually fine. And then the signets all add two of each of non white colors. Plus we have Cultivate, we have Chris and Tusker. So. Uh, I count signets as, yeah, like 0.5 basically. I don't think it's a full. It's a nice little bonus to have that color, but like, also you don't need the color to cast it, right? So if you need a green and you have a signet in your opening hand, it still counts. That'd be sexy. I think, I mean, that's a, I, I think Cultivate's a fine hit. Oh yeah, this hand's good. I mean, we've got a, we got a black and a green off this. Don't want to borrow Scaris in here. I think we're just gonna play the plains and then or play the forest, cultivate next turn. Cause cultivate lets us go smiting helix into bituminous blast. Seven damage. Seems good. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. Lightning Helix one time? Nope. I guess we'll take seven more. Let's put a black and a red. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. I'm going to six on turn four. I mean, actually, it might just be Bituminous Blast because we could actually put another card into play and we're just going to have this the following turn anyway. The problem is if we hit something shitty, then we die to this. I think we have to kill this because this is just five on board. Oh, God. If we kill this, we're still taking six. Come on, one time something good. Oh, that was real good. All right. Yep, past my guy. Um, so we're gonna want one, two, three, four, and then white, and it doesn't matter what land we get. I guess we got a second green. So we're going to go black, green, green. Yeah, this is fine. So next time we can go Smiting Helix twice. I mean, they're, they're probably just going to kill us, right? They're just going to Lightning Strike our face or something with their last card. Like, here we go. Ready? I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Right before we stabilize and gain six. Yeah. Nothing happened. We're alive. What? Oh, Bobby Biscuits. What? 
I guess we're just keeping that down there, right? Yeah, I don't know, man. I think we're just gonna this, bounce, this. Spitemare. Well, <laughs> that is awkward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we have to kill this now, right? But next turn, we get to go raging. We get to put the sword on the sword tooth. And by sword, I mean... We also go to seven here with jungle hollow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woo! Turn in the corner. Oh boy! Wow, what a match. Oh, Lightning Helix is good. Man, our deck is good. Rampage seems great against them. Let's bring in a Rampage. Take Plated Crusher out. You're a little slow. I think Skeleton is probably still good. Might just want Bile Blight instead. It's double it's double black, but this is a weird card to put in here because, like, it's, it's cube, right? Like, I mean, unless they have, like, multiple tokens... Also, Pyrokinesis seems actually pretty decent. Which means I'll just submit. Peace Strider? No, it's not It's not Peace Strider. It's Pierce Strider. It's the lose three life one. If it was the gain three life one, I could definitely consider it, but... Actually, Jun Charm does seem decent. This hand's pretty rough. If we had one more land... I'm going to keep it because we're on the draw. So we have two turns to hit a land. And we also have Signet and Skin Render and Crow's Hand Tusker, so... Land? I'm good at this game. Here comes a Seeker of the Way. Nope. True Heart Duelist. Sure. Dang it, you're late. That's fine. Next time we can go Tusker into Jungle Shrine. If we hit a land, we can Skin Render, which is great. I have a theory that Mooch will be the fifth horseman in the apocalypse. Mike, I've come for your souls. Uh, disgusting! That sounds about right. All that sounds correct. Um, I'm just going to play this here. Like, we could play this in Cycle Tusker, but it does the same thing as just playing this. Nothing, huh? Fascinating. You can rend my skin, rend my skin. What's happening right now? Why, why is it on me? Oh, because my internet's going down. That's cool. All right, well, the stream is still down, but I'm literally using my phone as a hotspot because my internet's down, so. That's cool. I'm sure OBS is trying to come back. But here we are. I have no idea if this is my connection. It looks like it's them right now. So,
Not sure if it's actually gonna... I'm gonna pause until we get back. Okay, they lightning helix my guy. I kill their guy. Sounds good. Okay, so everybody's dead. Okay, true heart duelist. Sounds a dece. I have a lightning helix too, it looks like. One, two, three. Cycle this dude. Oh, we're just gonna win the game. All right, well, that's that. That was a match, all right. Well, good times. All right, we're continuing this from yesterday because the, the internet, internet went down. Yeah. And we won this round at the very end, but... So two matches left? What? Two matches left? What? <sighs> yeah. Got him. Take your four fat chickens and ride down the street. Give me your meat. <coughs> you too, Crunchy Cron. Crunchy Cron sounds like a fucking Transformers based can uh, candy based Transformer. I'm Crunchy Cron. Yeah, you're not wrong. I know. That's why I said it. Oh, look at this little shit bird. Joke's on you. Gained a life. What you gonna do about that? Nothing. Transformers? Yeah. Is this live? No, this is recording off the ears. I feel like I missed something. You did. You did. Just so you guys know, Super Fred sent me a shirt on the front. It's got four fat chickens riding down the street. This is walking down the street. Walking down the street, sorry. Do you, is the meme walking or riding? I think it's riding, but it's okay. Fuck, Super Fritz. He's gonna have to send you a third shirt now. And on the back it says, four fat chickens, give me their meat. <laughs> it's quality, man. When did the drafting portion happen? Last night before I got disconnected from the internet for three hours. Also, I got approved to uh, take that hour off, so we're good. Nice. Also, she did something super cool. She's like, hey, you can just skip lunch. And I'm like, well, my lunch is only 30 minutes. And she's like, well, if you want, you can come in 30 minutes early as well. So I'm like, oh, then I don't lose the hour. Just start at 7 and skip lunch. Yeah, that's fine. Man. You might as well be That's money, super right? flexible. Dude, old Mike would have been like, I'm just not coming in at all. I'm just <laughs> take a big lunch. I'll and... take the whole day off, actually. Can you recraft the draft to me? No. No. <laughs> Got him. He took uh, spells and lands. I didn't take lands. I did take lands. You're right. Fuck, you got me. Four fat chickens, give me the meat. Four fat chickens, riding down the street. That's good, man. Yeah, I mean, if the company paid more. It'd be amazing. Other than that, this is a really great company to work for. Four fat chickens, riding down the street. Do 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 do. Do I just bounce this one? Is the one life worth it? Because next time I have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Yeah, that seems fine. I gotta discard now. Discard mountain. Me are playing against red. Me are playing against red. Brr. I don't know what that means, but all right. It means you want more life. Oh, I want that one point. Yeah. That one pointer. Although it looks like they might be stuck on a different color. Your mother's stuck on a different color. Got him. What color is that? Purple. You say that the low pay is the product of being in a college town? It seems that way. Most businesses seem to hover around. I was raised in a college Head town. <laughs> I was raised in a college town. In this college town. You know that song? It's a John College Camp. Plus, chickens are not known for riding down the street. They cross the road all the time. Wow. Super Fritz took his own liberties, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to change that meme to my own. This meme made, needs to make more sense. 
Oh, flame tongue comment. And you know you're serious about fossils when you got to log in for a fossil site. It's not, it's my just it's my fossil account, Michael. <laughs> okay, I don't need your fossil judgment. I'm gonna get it anyway. Okay, well you know what? You're a piece of shit. So <laughs> suck on them eggs. Put the eggs in your mouth. Suck on them eggs. Eggs in your mouth. That's my eggs in your mouth song. <laughs> Fantastic, buddy. You ain't kidding. This is one fat chicken. What is Dino Daddy? What was this? Click and find out. I'm, not, I'm too afraid. This is probably fine. Don't fossil shame, Mike. <laughs> He's right. Mitch is correct. What up? I was raised in a small town. Did you know I was raised in a small town? Yeah, because you never shut up about it. Okay, take it easy. I don't want to fight. If by small town, you mean St. Petersburg, sure. I was raised in St. Petersburg. <laughs> Fucking love St. Pete. How's B Day going so far? Pretty good. How's your birthday? How's what? How's your B-Day going? Mm -hmm. Look, I'm getting rid of their one swamp. And their gentlemen. Swamp and their gentlemen. Do -do -do. That's a song called Swamp and a Gentleman. The chickens are cooked on the back. <laughs> it's true. By the way, Chad. They're cooked on the back. Give it a little tap. Play my jungle shrine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mana, huh? I figured out why no one can find the good frescas right now. Why? Oh, you didn't say that. That's interesting. You just read the comment. You didn't actually reply to it at all. How would I know that? I'm not asking you to know it. I'm asking you to reply to it. If someone says I found out why I can't find the good fresco, my response, my response as a host would be like, "Oh yeah, what is it? What's the reason?" I thought I said that. You did literally only read it, and then I huh. said, "Oh why?" And then I realized, "Oh, you were just literally reading a comment and not responding to it in any way." Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Thank you. Come on, something juicy. Well, that's juicy. Happy birthday, Jojo. Jojo MK, is it your birthday? Jojo MK, happy happy birthday. A tropical depression over Wisconsin? That. Huh. All right, we have Plated Crusher. Scaled Behemoth. Tristani Summoner. Bituminous Blast. Shoot the big hexproof boy. Is that better than this? Four of us in it. This is ten power. Over four bodies. Fair enough. Fair enough. How much longer we got? One, two, three, four, five. So we can't do it until next turn anyway. Actually, maybe it's just Warhammer. Because there's a can shortage and Fresca isn't consumed enough, so they are make they aren't making them right now. Interesting. That's, well, that's wild. get the most power <whistles> I was raised in a small town get him Oh, there's someone without a sub. Elk Tears. So now he has one. Because sub of Badger. Is, uh, Badger, thank you so much for the gifted sub, buddy. You know. To Elk Tears. 
this card's a card, huh? Okay. A sub is a sub is a sailor. I'm gonna tap your mountain. Oh, it's Raging Swordy Boy. God, Affinity is so... Cook on the so draw. efficient, dude. need to update the Howie's emote to the Little Caesars emote. Oh, maybe. Oh, wow. We could pizza pizza up in this piece. I don't think Incremental Blights are really going to do us much good here. I doubt they have enough. Like, they don't think they have one creature in hand, let alone three, so. Deal seven to a dude. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a slug boy. Slug is a slug <coughs> is a sailor. <laughs> what do you think about the spoiled card Idol of Endurance and the new black one drop? I think Idol of Endurance is... I don't know. Kind of put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, it didn't seem great. I was like... I'm not sure about the black one drop. I haven't seen that one yet. The sub is the sub is back, B. I'm sorry, but Hungry Harry's betrayed us. How did they betray us? By well, stopped making their good pizza. Well, that was a while ago. Nevertheless, I never forget. <laughs> Maybe. What, the deep dish? Yeah, they stopped making that. I hate that you got. I didn't even like. I'd never even heard this song before you mentioned it. I hate you. Click that link. Oh, the one one. Yeah, sure. It's a lot of text. Life link. What's the rest? <laughs> I got that part. Can you tell me the rest? I can't read it from that phone. Sure. Here you go. When Archfiend's Vessel enters the battlefield, if it entered from your graveyard or you cast it from your graveyard, exile it. If you create a 5-5 five, five black... Eh. It's kind of weird. Sub is, sub is Here come the burps, guys. I'm starting. And they already smell. Disgusting! No, oh, at least I brushed my teeth. Oh, thank goodness for that. Small miracles, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, I was discussed before. The burps come from the stomach. Mine. Well, right. Was that? That means brushing teeth doesn't really do anything. It's well, it has to go stuff. through your sweet, sweet breath, though. It's true. I guess it would be worse had it not. Oh, wow, that's fascinating. Sure. One of my two dinosaurs. Capture those dinosaurs. Those rumpin' rumpin' dinosaurs. Yeah, it's a Michael B. Hunt. It's Michael B's dinosaurs. Oh, I see. Wow, that's fascinating. Are small miracles like tiny bites? I don't think so. Oh, the shirt? Not exactly. On the front it says, four fat chickens walking down the street. And it's got the chickens on the street. And on the back it says, 
Come on. You got it. Oh, four fat chickens <laughs> give me their meat, and it's got it's cooked chickens on the back. I, I forgot like, the quote for a second. I feel like you could literally see him breaking down. He's like, on the back it says, I just forgot the quote for a minute. You're like, oh shit, we gotta reboot him. Oh, what up, Leo? Tell Brazil I said what up. Mark is also from Brazil. I mean, compared to the mana issues Frank has, we'll take all the wins we can get. Maybe you will. I will. Can we give a little sympathy to him or her? No, we're good. I don't need to be interacting with random people on Moto just to be like, Hey, I'm really sorry you had mana issues. A sub is a sub is a sailor, Matthew. Was that noise you just made? What? Yeah. Frank, to be honest though, imagine if someone did that to you, you would appreciate it. Also, nice haircut. Imagine if I, I actually wouldn't appreciate it. I'd be like, yeah, cool, thanks. I actually, I, I, I'm never in the mood to like be commiserated with after I have mana issues. It's just super frustrating for me. Like, I think the last thing you want is the person who just beat you to, like, commiserate with you. I mean, for some reason, like, psychologically, you're just not on the same level. Like, this person, like, you're in a competition. This person is a winner. You are the loser of that competition. And, like, I don't know. It's not a big deal, right? I'm just, like... But I'm just saying, like, if someone's like, hey, man, sorry about the man issues. I know I crushed you. Like, you know, it's not like... I obviously don't like to say the last part, but that's what happened. And, like, for some reason, like, it just doesn't... I just kind of want to be like, all right, I'm done. I hate it on Arena when people do the good game mode. Yeah, because it's like... I mean... Regardless of the fact that this person, like, had no intention, they didn't mean it, but, like, you're not the person I want the apology to come from, you know? It's like if someone punches you in the face, and they're like, Hey, man, I'm, you know, I hope you're okay. I know that sucks when you get punched in the face. <laughs> but, I mean, like, obviously it's not intentional. It's not malicious. But it's still the, the, the deliverer of your of your misfortune. You know what I mean? I don't know if this is making any sense or not. I don't was, think the punch in the face really works in the analogy, but I get what you're saying. Well, you've had an unfortunate thing happen to you, and this is the person who, like, who, who benefited from it. Or, like, who were... Right, okay. You know, so it's just a weird feeling. In a game of Paper Magic, if your opponent beats you, what is the best thing, in your opinion, they can do? Just say good game and be done with it? I mean, just like, literally for me, it's like, if they're like, hey man, good games. I'd be like, alright, cool. You know. Sun is a sun is a sailor. I actually had to get perma mute a guy on the poker app permamute yeah because it never happened to me but almost every time he would bust someone he would make a goat noise and the reason why he would make that goat noise which a is really annoying itself and b a goat noise yeah a goat like bah like a goat like noise. he would type it or no he would he would literally make a voice message about it to send everyone in the group like so in other words when we're playing you can send like a up to a 10 second voice message what the fuck so i had to meet him because why would he, he do that he kept doing it and i asked him why he was doing it is because he can cons he considers himself the goat, the greatest of all time, even though he's playing in a twenty dollar poker tournament. But he's the greatest of all time. Frank. I mean, what can you do, man? Sometimes people are the greatest. You can block. You just take it. Ooh. -wee. Play a two power creature and a one power creature. Okay, that's two power creature. One sub is a sub is a sailor. One sub is a sub is a sub. Who's that running through the streets? It's Mike and he's draped in sheets. Hide your kids or steal their cleats. Boot shall be. There's three Mitchell Bees, not just one, Michael. It just doesn't. The three it doesn't work for me, so I'm only going to sing it once. Oh, well. Good thing it's your song. Fucking ungrateful. 
scumbag. <laughs> Mooch will be. Mooch will be. He's living up in the tree. Is he on? There the sea. Yes, he is. It's Mooch will be. Hey there. There goes a Mooch will be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we can go Icy and Prison Realm. I like that. Oh, I like that. Well, let's not use the white mana because I need that for a for a big old biscuit. A scry one? Oh man. I use that to thick ass boy meme when I play board games with my friends just to annoy them. Yeah, but that's not really like a brag. It's just kind of doing a meme. Yeah, that seems very different. Oh, river poo poo. Oh, river poo poo. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can play this. This guy. So memeing is okay, but bragging isn't? Well, it depends on the meme. I mean, those are totally different things, right? Yeah. Like... Like, winning and then rubbing in is, like, the sh shittiest thing you can do, in my opinion. In Paper Magic, you can see when someone's being genuine. That's very true. So, like, if my opponent's, like... Hey, good game. Look what else I had in my hand. I could have just... I'm like... Just fuck off. But if they're like, hey, man, good game. Sorry about that. I'd be like, alright, cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. I guess definitely, you can definitely tell, like, how they mean it. Little man doesn't smell. Smoky Looky, what are these to the tune of? I feel like that would really help us. He told us. us, but it was, like, really obscure. If oh. I remember correctly. Well, that's something. Oh, wow. That's really friggin' good. Wow, that's really good. It's not bad. No, it is not. Listen, bud. He's got radioactive bugs. Wait, what? Why am I already in my... Well, I guess we're just playing... It's to the tune of Psycho Dad. Oh, Sh Psycho Dad. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Show from Married with Children. So I assume this is where you go Shriek Maw for two, play Acolyte, get Shriek Maw back. I only rubbed it in once. The guy who declined to split, literally the two-pack difference, got absolutely crushed by my Selesnia draft versus his Boros draft. He's generally a prick. I mean, if he's a dickhead and he, you know, I mean, there's circumstances where I can see rubbing in if they're a dickhead and they deserve it. I got your Shriek Maw in hand, but you're not playing that. I'm hacking the Gibson right now. It's crazy, man. I know. I'm wild, bro. I'm gonna have to assume they're gonna shriek maw this guy. So I have no more bodies. Bodies on the board. And the bodies on the board. Yep. Cool. Tristani. Celestia thing. I can kill your river poo poo. <laughs> river poo poo. Of love. River poo poo of love. River poo poo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Don't even tell me like you don't like river poo poo of love, Michael. We couldn't use it to kill the beast though. This? Mm -hmm. Why would I want to do that? Because it's a bigger boy. We know they have Acolyte in hand, so they're just going to get it back and then get two more creatures back. No. Oh. Why on earth would I want them to get... What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> he 
He did not mince words about my abilities after the round. Really? That's wild. He's since gone on to be a serial woman abuser, so. You know. Yeah, Owen's always been a piece of shit in my opinion, so. That dude so. has never been polite to anyone ever. Like, I I've never had a positive interaction with Owen. He faked it for like Owen. three months. Yeah, while he was like trying to get Hall of Fame and like when he was best friends with Reed and, and, and Yui, like, he definitely tried to be a better person and, like, be super nice to everyone, but it was just... It was clearly all fake. It was super phony. I have not seen the Bill and Ted trailer yet. What'd they get back? Shriek Maw. Shrieky Maw. Shrieky Maw. My name is Mike. In the trash. Do-do-do. In the trash. My name's Mike. In the trash. Like, this song is about Michael being in the trash. I think it's pretty, pretty good. I think it's alright. I'm gonna draw two and lose two. I'm hope I get a scaly boy. I didn't. I got basically two lands. That's a cool meatball, huh? If Perlini got owned, what did he do? What? And generally he's an asshole. And he's also, like, abusive to women. So just know we're all pieces of shit. He's gonna There's a big thing about him. him. There's a big thing about him. Mine and mine. Go be. I live up. In the tree. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 mana. There's still a lot more lands in our deck, unfortunately. Hey there. His name is Michael B. No, there's no evidence that, that Owen ever marked his cards. No, do not. Let's not. No, it wasn't about that. Let's not. Let's not accuse people of cheating if that's not what what actually happened. Oh, good. I forgot to tap their thing because I was mad. That's it was just the fact that he was trying to. What's the term when a manager and someone on, under them? Mm, let's not go into it. Okay. You can look it up if you if you want to know about it. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, I tapped, like, a million mana for that. I didn't have to, I guess. We drew another land. Put it back in my hand. Gonna play. Send it do. We know they have... Mul I, I wish I... Why do I have the Spider-Man song stuck in my head? I think it's because Smokey Loki's song... It reminds me of Spider-Man Spider song. Spider yeah, yeah. That's, that's literally what it is. Hey, listen. Hey, listen! Hey, listen. All right. He's going to make three other statements that have nothing to do with Is question. Artifact or enchantment? Seems good. I got two... I got two fat hexproof boys in this deck. I'm about to send my mom dinner from Outback Steakhouse for her birthday. Okay. I'm listening. So far, so good. It's fucking unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. Plus two signets. I mean, we should be at 15 right now because we should have tapped that guy, but... <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, neither of us fled to Brazil. We just kept living in the U.S. My mom asked if you could throw this draft for her for her birthday if she shares some of her blooming onion with me. Okay, that's good. That's what I'm talking about. It's about the best draw on your deck. In fact, I think it's it literally it, that's literally how it works. It is the best draw. Uh, it's either Tristani Summoner or Scaled Behemoth, I believe. See, the problem is they're gonna play Shriek Maw and then they can double block for it. It'd be seven, so it will kill the Scaled Behemoth, but we'll gain like a million life. Tristani Summoner also pretty good, but I, I just assume they have a counter spell right now. No way around that either way. <sighs> I was absolutely delighted. Wow. Let's go with Behemoth here. <whistles> Michael B. Michael B. Send him up into the tree. Put this long set on Warhammer on this guy. Dude, forever. Dude, dude. Michael B.
Well, we don't have ice anymore because they Sultai charmed it, so. I bought my friend an elephant for her room. She said thanks. I said don't mention it. Oh, the elephant in the. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, a burnished heart. Burnished heart. Hear me calling. me you. You guys have Outbacks in New York? Oh. Spicy Meatball City. Come on down to Spicy Meatball City. Where the mic beans green and the beans are pretty. Um, four, five, six. Okay, I have Hexproof. So you have to do some pre-combat. Some random pump effect? It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yep, that's pretty good. Can't you blast their target? Uh, well, this does four, and this is a four five. So, I mean, oh. I can. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm actually tempted to bit blast this guy and see what we hit. Like, our odds are, like, decent to hit, like, Lightning Helix or. I don't know what else we can hit. I say go for it. If this guy lives, I think we just win the game. Well, if you hit any creature, you're still okay because then you Oh, hitting skin thinner would be gas too. Oh, fucking signet. <laughs> oh man, just bonkers. So good, dude. Um, yep, four and two. I guess, I mean, we're getting nine, so I guess that's okay, but, like, Jesus, that's so brutal. Right, we're back up to 16. <sighs> All three signets in play. We know they have Shriek Maw, so we're looking for Tristani Summoner or the plated that guy. Yep. It's we were looking for a bro to hold our dough. Of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Alright, 10 6. So now they can just play Shriek Ma as a dude and double block. But we're still just eating all their things, right? Cast him as a man. They could. They could just cast him as a man. Dan's, what up, my dude? My 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 dude. My gender neutral dude. As a dude, I got nothing here. Okay, we're gonna hit skin thinner. I like it. I like it. I'm just gonna helix this guy now because it gives me a better idea of what I want to do. Like, if they have a counter spell of some sort. Now, we know they have Shriekmon on one of their cards. <laughs> like, apparently, a 10 6 hexproof trample uh, lifelink plated crusher is too good. It's too good. You got nothing because you are nothing. What a. F that was a fucking got him, dude. Jesus. I got a family. Michael B doesn't have a family, but I have a family, you know? I don't have a goddamn family. No, you don't. You son of a bitch. Don't lie about having a family, Michael. It's childish. It's churlish. Taro Yamamoto is a politician and former actor who has been called Japan's Bernie Sanders. Recently, his party, Raiwei Shinsegumi, have put out posters supporting universal basic income. Poster stand just you know, print fat stacks of money. Hand that shit out to everyone. <laughs> I, I support it. For Denver move, Dan, Dan's, you are wonderful. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think Matthew deserves you. God damn. Because you're an absolute saint and Matthew is a world-class troll. But I love him too. Why well, I got to hurt Mutual's feel? When did I do that? But he can't hurt my feelings. Shoot. I'm dead inside. <laughs> it's true. He is. I've looked at his insides before. They are disgustingly dead.
It's the first of the month, Michael. It's actually not the first of the month. I believe it's the ninth. Yeah, did you see these pictures I sent? Huh? Like, oh, this I, is one. This is one I was exit. Busy at the time. And mm. then you go to the next one in Laramie, and you're like, Oh, I think it's the same one I got. And then you're like, Oh, oh wow, that's like literally Why? just the next exit. And then you're like, Oh wow, it looks like nothing happened here. It's just that one rough patch. It looks like there's this. And then this is the one before it. So it's like literally this one part in Laramie. So we just have to slow down real slow at that part. I don't even think we go through that, to be honest with you, so. I mean, I'm down for avoiding any icy roads. God, dude, you're fucking coffee breath, man. Good grief. Can you blow it out the other way, bro? Did you do the same for me, Frank? No, I'd blow it in your face. I know, exactly. Damn it, he got me. <laughs> he got me with the truth. Frank be like, hey, Moochel doesn't have a family. Let's point and laugh at him. <laughs> but it's not because it's funny. It's because Mike is really independent, right? It's a co it's a compliment, you know? Hey, man, congrats on being so independent that you don't have a family. I love Dan's bits. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are wonderful. I, I love both of you. I'm going to cultivate some of my interests here. Let's get one of these. We got enough black sources. What should we get for Dindin? Chicken biscuits. Chicken biscuits. With turtle toppers. Are you suggesting we eat salami? turtles? You, you monster. Don't talk to me anymore. It's the first of the month, Michael. Wake up. Can you wake up? Wake Where up. do you stop to eat on the way to Denver? We'll figure something out. I mean, nowhere really. Like, we can stop wherever we want. But there's no, like... I usually make, like, three stops. Every two or so hours is usually where I want to be, just because it's easier. Um, do you want just stretch your legs. Which of my skin in? Probably this guy. Actually, cone of flame here seems fantastic, right? Why not just cone these dudes? Then I get rid of everything. Deal one, two, three. Oh yeah, we're coning. We're coning O'Brien, baby. I always worry about doing it wrong. You can make a quick stop in California on the way there. Huh. Well, I said you should, not could. It's only a couple hours difference. Yeah, it's only like a day out of the way. It's only a day out of the way. You got Leyland Prowler back? Okay. I got incremental, incremental, incre incremental growth? No. Blighted? Blighted? I don't know the freaking card. One, two, three, four, five. Have some Ethiopian food for Dindins. Uh, there's no Ethiopian around here. That's also not super convenient at all. Just because, like, we're trying to get there. Like, it's it's also you can't eat in restaurants, you know. So it's like really hard to be like, Ethiopian you know, food is definitely like a, a food you want to sit in the restaurant and eat because it's all on a plate and it's served to you. Like, it's just hard to it's hard to eat, man. Make it. I, nah, I don't, I, think, I don't think I'm in a position to be making Ethiopian food, my dude. First, I don't know how. B, I imagine we're lacking many of the ingredients. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have eight mana. Actually, oh my god, this could actually be really good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna get Smiting Helix. Then we're gonna go... Play a black here. One, two, three, four... Smiting Helix the poo poo. Kill this guy. Oh, yeah, that was a turn, all right. Dan suggests that we get a spaghetti bucket. Oh, they have haste. I should have attacked with the hasty boys. A spaghetti bucket? Here, they're gonna play. They're gonna play big fat, fat daddy. I think it might be the B have one one last time. Oh, didn't you get a coupon? Yeah, ten percent off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We should definitely get that before we leave. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I would. It's delicious. Wouldn't you, get a little chonky boy? I am a little chonky boy, buddy. I know it. I am a little chonky. Well, if they win it for life, you'll know why. Well, they would have blocked one, so three. Okay, if they win it three life, have horse for dinner. Wow. That's a real Australian, buddy. Do you mean like a... Oh, we just won the game. As a guest? Six? 
63060 with this deck. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankofortmanatraders.com. You can find the link down below and you can use promo code RATTRADE to get 20% RATTRAIN to get 20% off your first three months of any subscription, which is a great deal. And uh, check me out. You can also check out Freshly Brewed. Me and Rob are doing Freshly Brewed the podcast, so check that out every week over at anchor.fm or any, literally anywhere you listen to podcasts. Stitcher, Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, Google. It's literally everywhere, so check that out. And I'll see you guys next next time. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you.